the IIT tools. Six LED magnetic light strip. I don't remember when I bought this. I got this at Tiny Middle back in the day. It has been sitting collecting dust. Never opened the package. Uh, just six LEDs, so we already know, and there's a button on it. it. Looks to be Velcro and some screws, maybe, in case you wanted to mount it that way. Mounted it that way, really? In case you wanted to mount it that way. Uh, <laughs> and let's see. Over here it says, pantries, drawers, cabinets, toolboxes. Great to use in a thousand places such as closets, pantries, drawers, cabinets, clo okay, so there's a kind of a six super bright white LEDs in each light have a life expectancy of 10 years or more. Oh, we'll have to put that to the test. I wonder how many packs of batteries I'd fucking go through. Uh, probably only one, not even, and it'll crap out. Battery operated, no wires or installation required. One touch on off switch with dimmer. Light head swivels for ideal light positioning. Solid state LED does not burn out. <coughs> Bullshit. <coughs> Typical lifetime 10 plus years. Yeah, we talked about that. LED uses very little energy prolonging battery life. Attached to metal surfaces like cabinets and toolboxes with magnetic back. Uses three AAA batteries. Great. Now I have to go get those. Uh, conveniently swivels to give you light right where you need it. Super bright white LEDs. Provide bright light where you need it. Lasts up to 100,000 hours. Press once for brightest light. Twice for dimmer light. Third time to turn off. To install... Attaches to any surface with screws for wooden plastic and certain things and limited warranty, which is for 90 days. So I think it's expired. Let's cut it open and see if it works. Now this was way before we had LED strip lights and the colored ones and USB powered ones and all that great shit. This is way before that. Sort of, uh, these are the fail Harbor Freight tools not sold at Harbor Freight. As far as the swivel thing, now it makes sense what these things are, because you can turn that and the light will swivel. Ooh, fancy. Couple things there. Okay, I guess that's where the batteries go in. Okay. <laughs> and then under that, it said magnetic. Oh, it is. Okay, button, good. And for batteries, four and a half volts, so this would definitely be a candidate for a USB mod, but what am I going to do? I don't know what I, I had an idea of what I was going to use this for. I think the price tag said $7. I had it taped over so you don't see the style of price tag, so you don't know what tiny metal is unless you figured it out already. And don't shout it out and spoil it for everybody else in the comments. Do not shout that out if you happen to know what it is. Um, yeah. All right, I guess we'll get some batteries and see if it works. I think originally I was going to rig up some sort of power supply, and this was before the USB craze where everything is USB powered, and I was going to put it somewhere, but I don't remember where. So in the meantime, I have some mismatched batteries of dubious quality that could be dead or partially dead we'll try, <laughs> we'll try not to push the button before it's time there we go we'll pop that back in i won't worry about the uh the mounting thing and let's see after all these years if it works really great all right those batteries may be dead, so let me find, make sure they're good, and we'll go from there. Okay, the finest quality Harbor Freight meter that has had the hot glue mod done. I never had a video on that, but basically uh, the wires were about to fall out, so I just reinforced it with hot glue. 1.4, so it's low. one point four so it's low one point four 
So that would give us three 4.2, and this is looking for 4.5. Just that bad that it just doesn't work, or does it really, really, really need fresh batteries? Well, I'm not going to break open a new set. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'll monkey around a bit, and we'll see what happens. Only the best for our Chinese device, the Harbor Freight Thunderbolt Magnum batteries. I know I said I wasn't going to open up new batteries, but this package was already open. I know that they're new and never used, and it's still doing that. Great. Uh, well, let's put this one in first. Something tells me it's still not going to work. And I've definitely put the batteries in the right way, according to the legend in there. I made sure of that. <laughs> China's got it in for me today. China has it in for me today. Okay, we'll put the battery door on, because... <laughs> this is actually getting quite comical at this point. Wow. That's flabbergasting. That's really what that is. Flabbergasting. The fucking thing doesn't even work after all that. I didn't know it was going to turn into that kind of video. Our finest quality Chinese screwdriver to the rescue. eight screws but yet you buy an external hard drive and you can't have that kind it just clips together ridiculous wow yeah it's just that shiny amazing it's all there the wires are connected no reason it shouldn't work. Wow. Can you see here how the magnet is crooked? And this one is sideways? Really? Um, is it possible that the legend is wrong? No, that's positive and red is positive. I guess I could try putting the batteries in backwards just just to do it. Uh, yeah, it might work. Just in case China wired it wrong. I guess I'll try to sort of hold them in as I do this. Nope. Nothing. Wow. That is fucking exciting right there. That is absolutely exciting. I can't believe that. I can't believe that. After all these years, the damn thing doesn't even work. Or it shined it out. It may, you know, it may be in the little epoxy blob. If you could see it right there, the little epoxy blob that may have said, you know, it's time to expire. Wow. That's, that's impressive. That's really impressive. Huh. Okay, let's try to overvolt it slightly with USB. Can't even press it that way, really? I thought I could just mash down and it would work, but... Oh, look at that! Now it works? Really? 
battery contacts fucked up or are these batteries crap? Now I'm actually curious because these are brand new. Doesn't mean that they work. I'll just test them quick here. 1.6. And this one reads 1.6. And this one reads 1.6. So I don't know why it didn't work. This uh, contact doesn't look the greatest there. There's some like brownish looking shit on it. I don't know if that's rust. Doesn't seem to want to come off just with a little blunt Phillips like that. Hmm. Well, it kind of works, so I guess now we'll hook it back up and we'll try it again and see. Ooh, let's try low. <gasps> oh, breathtaking. Let me shut the lights off. Holy crap, this was definitely worth fucking six nine. I didn't pay no six ninety nine for it. Uh, wow. I mean, really, really wow. 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 -er. The low, and this is off of 5 volts, not even 4.5. The low is basically unusable. That is incredible. High is, you know, does at least a little something, but it's not even worth. It's it's not it's not worth a fuck. It's not worth a fuck at all. That's that's really something. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore. What if we shut power? It just craps out entirely, and then you got to press the button again anyway. Oh, there, finally, if you really mush it. Jeez. Wow. I mean, I, I've seen crap before, but this is like, like if I, seriously, if I got this as like a China review video, I, I don't even think you would see the video. That's, that's how, that's how abysmal this thing actually is. Oh, my. So, why doesn't it work? Well, here's a couple of screws. Contacts are there. They're not dirty. Negative goes to there, which goes to negative, to positive, to negative, to positive. And that's exactly where the wires go. Huh. That is really peculiar. Oh, well. <laughs> well, I think we're going to put this back together and then um, put it in the junk pile because I, I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Wow. What a huge, huge disappointment. And I had to break out new batteries for this shit. Damn. Well, wonderful. Thanks for watching. Now i got to put eight fucking screws back. Make sure you hit like, make sure you hit subscribe, and take care. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.